Hello, pen friends. We're back with the next in our series of inexpensive demonstrators. Today we're looking at the, this says Pi Li 013. This is apparently the same pen as the Wing Sung 3013. Not a knockoff, just the same pen with different branding. This pen is inspired by the Twisby VAC 700. Uh, but it has, you know, again, some design differences. Uh, we're going to take a look right now and see what we think about this pen as a demonstrator uh, for our, um, you know, the inks that we want to show off. You may hear some piano uh, noise in the background. That's one of my kids fooling around on the piano. It does have the clear feed. Um, this, like the 3008 that we looked at, has a pilot style nib rather than a Lamy style nib. The thing you'll notice is you can't actually see the collectors. They've been covered with this uh, metal in the section. Uh, this is a vacuum pen. So you, you open it up, unscrew to release the plunger, and then push into the bottle of ink and shurp, it should shoot right up in there. Um, and then, of course, when you close it up, that is when you close it up, that is going to seal. So you're going to run out of ink fairly quickly. So for continuous writing, you actually have to open the valve and then close it again. OK, so let's see how this thing does. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to use this bottle of Robert Oster Muddy Dragon. It's a very nice color of ink that I got uh, from Robert Oster when they did their mud pack uh, sales. Uh, and I don't really have a pen that it matches. So we're going to put it in here. We're going to have a bloody. So I don't know how much is, we're going to get in here from a fill. I haven't actually ever used this pen before. So here we go. Pretty good. Okay, that's enough for our purposes in this test. Uh, close that up real tight for now because now I need to wipe her off. Close up the ink before I have a muddy dragon mess all over my work surface here. So first we'll admire the ink. Looks pretty good. Um, I read some concerns online about that rod. Uh, if that is just plain steel or a low grade of stainless steel, there is a chance of corrosion or rust. So, I, you know, that does bring the long term viability into question, particularly if you're using you know, certain inks. All right. So here it is capped. Uh, you see some of the color echoed in that clear uh, feed. Uh, but yeah, this is a nice pen for showing off. It's quite hefty. Um, it uh, There's no way for you to, of course, know what I'm feeling here. But just so you know, this pen does have a noticeable heft compared to the 3008, which feels quite uh, light. And, you know, looks wise, I think I'd give the nod to the 3013 slash Pi Lee 13. Okay. So anyways, we're going to try the writing sample. So the, whoa, oh, okay. So it just burped a lot. I think maybe I do need to retract the plunger. Uh, I've not really used vacuum fillers very much. So this is kind of new. Well, uh, nib is much wetter. Um, let me even blot it some more just to make sure that it's not an artifact. This is the Pi Lee 013. The nib is about the same fineness as it was on the Wing Sung 3008. Uh, feels very much like the same nib size, but this one is actually nice and juicy. Look at that. This is Robert Oster. Muddy. Okay, now maybe it's too wet. I don't know. Whoa, okay, yeah. I would say so far it feels like the ink flow in this pen is just kind of random and uncontrolled. Hmm. Interesting. My plan for all of these pens, by the way, is to use each one at least for a day uh, so I get a better sense of how they perform. And in the wrap up video, I'll talk about those experiences. Uh, these are really just the first impressions. Okay, so there we have. Let's see if, if uh, closing the plunger made it really wet. Yeah, a little bit, because that pushed a little bit more ink up into the feed. So that is the Pi Li uh, 013 or Wingsung 3013. Um, and I believe 
we are finally done with the inexpensive Chinese pens and we'll be moving on to some other countries and some other brands in the next video.